everyone, this is Miss Bay. Today, you will learn how to use mental math to divide. To divide means to share into equal parts or groups. Let's go over the different parts of a division problem. Six divided by three equals two. First, let's look at this symbol. This is the division symbol. This first number over here, it's called the dividend. Repeat after me. Dividend. Dividend. The dividend is the number of items or things that's being split up into groups. Basically, the dividend is what you are sharing. This number over here is called the divisor. Repeat after me, divisor divisor. The divisor is the number of groups. This number is called the quotient. Please repeat after me. Quotient. Quotient. The quotient is the answer to a division problem or the number of items or things in each group. Now let's look at an example. Let's say that there are six pieces of candy. The six pieces of candy are to be shared among three friends. Again, the six pieces of candy are to be shared among three friends. How can they divide or share the candy? Well, there are two ways that we can figure this out. First, we can use multiplication facts. Multiplication is the inverse operation of division, meaning that they undo each other or they're opposites. So when you read a division question, you can actually ask yourself a multiplication question. For example, let's use this equation above. Six divided by three equals something. Well, I'm not quite sure what six divided by three equals is. So I'm going to ask myself, something times three equals six. Because we've been practicing so much with multiplication facts, I know what that question is. I know it's not one. One times three is three, that's not six. Let's try two. Two times three is six. So the question mark must be two. Meaning that six divided by three equals two meaning each friend will receive two pieces of candy each. Here's another way to solve the problem. You can also draw a picture. Remember, the dividend tells us how many things we have and the divisor tells us how many groups we have. 
So in order to find out how many items each group has, let's draw how many groups first. One, two, three. And then let's share the number of items or the number of candies in this case. Make sure that we're sharing. So remember when we share, we can't be greedy and give all the candies to one friend. That's not fair. We have to be fair. So let's share the six candies. One for you, two, three. We're not done yet. We still have some left. Four, five, six. All right, I'm done with my six pieces of candy. And now I'm gonna see how much one person has, just one. One, two. So I see that each friend receives two pieces of candy. Two for you, two for you, two for you, so it's fair. Once again, my quotient, or the number of items each group has, is two. So now, we are going to try dividing numbers that end in zero by using mental math. We can use basic division facts and patterns and the strategy that we just learned to help us divide mentally. But first, let's go back to something similar we did with multiplication where we used the zero rule. Remember, with the zero rule, we, oops, sorry, we first underline the basic fact multiplication fact. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then we added the amount of zeros. Then of course we added the 1, 2, 3, comma. So my answer was if 3 times 4 is 12, then 3 hundreds times 4 is 12 hundreds or 1,200. Just like we used mental math to multiply numbers that end in zero, we can also use mental math to divide numbers that end in zero. Here, let me show you. Let's try Eight hundred divided by two. So just like with our multiplication, let's find the basic division fact. Eight divided by two. Hmm. Remember, if I'm not sure what eight divided by two is, I can always either think of a multiplication fact or I can draw a picture. So I'll show you both. For a multiplication fact, I can think to myself, well, if 8 divided by 2 equals something, then something times 2 must equal 8. 1 times 2 I know is 2. Hmm, that doesn't work. 2 times 2 is 4. That still doesn't work. 3 times 2? Nope. It equals six. How about four times two? Yes, four times two is eight. So my quotient for eight divided by two must be four. Now let's prove that the other strategy also works because you can choose whichever one works best for you. Let's try drawing. Remember, for eight divided by two, which is our basic division fact, The two shows us, or the divisor, shows us how many groups. And the eight shows us how many items or things we have. So we have eight this time. So remember, we have to be fair and share. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, done. So now let's look at how much is in one group, four. So our quotient is four. See how it was the same for both strategies? So you're able to use whichever strategy works for you. So now let's go back to the problem. Eight divided by two, we figured out is four. And now there are two zeros, which we can add. So because eight divided by two is four, I know that 800 divided by two is equal to four hundreds, which is equal to 400. Today we learned how to use mental math to divide.